Jeff Bezos, CEO and founder of online retail giant Amazon, has told employees in a company-wide meeting that he is fascinated by the electrification of the car industry. Citing this interest as a key reason, behind Amazon's $700 million investment in EV startup Rivian, the CEO told staff that in addition to electrification, he also sees an exciting future in the ride-sharing and connectivity aspects of the transforming industry. Want to know about it? Well, stay tuned to the video and watch the video till the end. Hello guys, welcome to Bezos Space, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to get new updates about Jeff Bezos. Hit the like button to show your support and in today's video, we're going to talk about Toyota's 7 all new electric cars shocks Jeff Bezos and the entire car industry. So without any further ado, let's begin. Car giant Toyota has unveiled a concept version of what is destined to become its first ever pure electric car and the company says it'll be one of seven electric vehicles it'll introduce by the end of 2025. The first dedicated battery electric vehicle BEV from Toyota, the 2023 Toyota BZ4X, was officially revealed and marks the beginning of a new era for Toyota electrification. The BZ nameplate stands for Beyond Zero and is one of seven future BEV Toyota vehicles to arrive by 2025. The BZ4X, also known as the Beyond Zero 4X, is similar in size and shape to the REV4 crossover, but it does have a significantly longer wheelbase along with distinct and finely designed edges. On the plus side, Toyota has designed the SUV to be comparable in shape and size to its globally best-selling vehicle, the 2020 RAV4. Cost is yet to be determined, however, the Toyota electric car would likely be priced more than the three cheapest electric cars currently on sale in Australia, the MG ZS EV from $43,990, Hyundai Ioniq from $48,970, and Nissan Leaf from $49,990. For different types and sizes of vehicles, the platform will have varied battery capacities, front-wheel drive, and dual-motor all-wheel drive. The BZ4X models would not be part of or a continuation of the preceding conventional models, but they, like other Toyota vehicles, will benefit from the success the company has built for its vehicles, particularly Toyota's hybrid vehicles, which have consistently delivered extremely good fuel as well as emissions efficiency, cozy cabin space, and comfortable driving. With global acceptance for years and the all new electric vehicles may have the same fortune. The few elements of electric vehicles that we're familiar with, such as battery levels, range, size, AI interface, and spaciousness, all enhanced human comfort. While Toyota is the global leader in petrol electric hybrid technology, having sold more than 17 million hybrid cars after introducing the technology globally in 1997 it has been slow to roll out a pure electric car. Even with the popularity of the SUV model Lexus UX300e, which has a 196-mile range on a full charge, an 8-hour charge time along with a lithium-ion battery, modern cooling and heating systems, these attributes are well-matched with Toyota's new line of electric vehicles. Toyota is set to make its first 4A into the next-generation electric vehicle market with the BZ series. And this will be the car that will lead the company's first try in seven years to enter the EV market. In a media statement, Toyota Australia sales and marketing chief Sean Hanley said, adding the first battery electric vehicle to our range builds on our approach of providing a variety of powertrain options while reducing emissions. Further BZ series vehicles will be considered and introduced as appropriate for Australia in due course, expanding Toyota's electrified vehicle choices. The interior of the BZ4X the series' first model is designed to assure driver safety and vehicle's proper usage. Similar to those of SUVs, the vehicle's low-set instrument panels and recessed dashboards, for example, were designed to give the driver an extended clear view of the road. A distinctive yoke-designed steering wheel was disclosed in some leaked documents where the company mentioned that it increases the interior spacious fling as the method removes the mechanical linkages between the steering wheel and also the movement of the car's front wheels. It provides smooth steering of the wiring system, thus making the yoke-style wheel feasible. Each vehicle's electric motors are housed in small spaces, eliminating the requirement for a longer wheelbase. Apart from that, Toyota also made significant changes including regenerative braking and fixing solar cells to the vehicle. It seeps energy from the sun, similar to sedans like the Mercedes-Benz S-Class. 
With the help of that, the BZ4X is an all-electric drivetrain that increases the amount of electricity the SUV can create while unplugging from the power grid. Although it's only a concept, the vehicle's overall image has sparked global interest and the automaker is now preparing to introduce the SUV in Japan and China before going worldwide in 2022. However, Toyota is working in collaboration with Panasonic on the advancement of the battery, but they haven't revealed any information yet and have promised to announce the batteries at a later date. While the problem of the electric car battery remains unanswered, it's impossible to predict whether the BZ4X and other future models would include a solid-state battery or not, although if they do, it will most likely be the EV market-leading all-electric vehicle. The EV industry is going to grow with more improvements and enhancements year after year. There are rumors that a single top variant and Subaru-branded vehicles are also being developed with identical specifications. Toyota has still not provided any precise information about the battery, although it has just stated that it will be producing solid-state batteries. Now, for those of you who don't know what solid-state batteries are, then don't worry, we're about to explain it to you. Solid-state batteries are batteries that charge faster and have higher energy density and are smarter and safer compared to lithium-ion batteries. The solid electrolyte is integrated into these batteries by design, which increases the size and effectiveness of the battery. In fact, when they're damaged, they're less likely to catch fire in comparison to conventional lithium-ion batteries. A solid-state car may have a driving range of 1,000 kilometers and require roughly 10 minutes to fully charge. However, one problem with the batteries is that they degrade over time. And Toyota also assists in maintaining roughly about 90% of the battery's performance for up to 30 years. Moreover, solid-state batteries necessitate special conditions Furthermore, the raw lithium which is needed for construction is extremely limited. The Japanese government supports battery development and they're currently considering allocating a large portion of their decarbonization funds to the construction of a solid-state battery infrastructure to facilitate battery manufacture. With Tesla being one to start, many automobile industries have joined this competitive market and this time it was Toyota, not to mention Volkswagen and Nissan, for example, are also venturing into the EV race. Besides, they've stated that they'll build their own solid-state batteries and full-functioning EV vehicles between 2025 and 2028. With all that in mind, let's hope Toyota will do its best to take the industry to the next level with innovation and technology, and with Tesla being a partner to the company, Toyota might have a chance to thrive in the market. Now that we've come to the end of this video, I want to thank you for sticking with me and I'd love to know what you think of it, just comment down below. Also, if you like this video, make sure you like it and stay safe. Today's video is over, but if you want to see more, there is one on your screen right now, and there are a few more fun videos coming soon. I'll see you in the next video.